obviously a uh, tough game for us and you know um, obviously we imploded uh, going in uh, the fourth period and you know I'm not sure why we're not excited you know it's a three-point game to um, what 13 14 what are they 15th team. team in the country and, and we're not excited to be right there and and so um, you know uh, just turn the ball over you know turnovers that led to points hurt us a lot our lack of execution um, how we do things uh, just you know offensively just executing and, and big difference just big difference from how they execute and, and same thing with Virginia Tech you know that that's one thing that uh, was really noticeable is just you know the, the speed in which they do things um, you know they'll go wing entry pass slice cut to the corner and it's a full sprint and it's like it just like the movement and how hard they cut and on every single play and and, um, and that's why you're good and um, you know we're, we're trying to get there we're trying to teach that um, you know we, we've preached that uh, you know you gotta play every possession like it's the last possession of a championship game um, you know and, and you know for whatever reason I mean like we're, we're still trying to get there and so um, you know but uh, not not a pretty fourth period I, th I thought we quit to be honest with you I, I thought we quit in the fourth period and um, you know, uh, we can't do that. And uh, it looks like uh, at times that uh, we never practiced before. Uh, that starts with me. I got, I got, I got to figure out a way and a uh, better job of, um, you know, preparing them um, for, for our opponents. Um, you know, I, I thought going in, you know, um, we, were, we were ready for uh, their zone offense and their quick hitters. And, um, you know, the first four or five possessions of the game, we're not flying around and we're not executing, we're, we're not doing the things that we need to do. And, and we give up the high post, we give up high post catches that led to shots, the dump off passes, and it goes on and on and on. Uh, not a good game for us, um, you know, but but I will, I mean, I'm taking receipts, you know, and, 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 and I'm gonna fill my pockets with them. And, and I will remember this game, okay? I will remember this game. I will remember the Virginia, Virginia Tech game, okay? I will remember these games. And um, you could bet that, um, Every single day I will come to work and I, I am, and I will be extremely motivated to get myself better, my coaching staff better, my, my, my entire staff better, and my team better. Coach, why do you think your team quit in that fourth quarter when you guys were only down 10? I know you called the timeout. Well, I just think it was the lack of execution offensively and the turnovers. I mean, we turned the ball over and then you go and, and, and you know, and, and then you go empty possession, empty possession, and then they're getting runouts and they're, and they're scoring. And you know, they were executing the set flare screens, wide open threes. Like I mean, it was like every single thing, you know. And then it was just like, like, you, like, as far as you know, the quit goes. I mean, you know, I, I can only you know point to the fact that like, because it's really hard, because it's really hard. That's why, and 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 it's supposed to be hard, and 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 that's what you know um, I've tried and and I will continue to try to preach to to my team. You know, every everything that we do is supposed to be hard because winning is really hard, and winning in this conference is really, really hard. And you, you're and you're supposed to tackle that. You're supposed to embrace that, and not run away from that. Thank Coach, you. after the Notre Dame game, too, said the preparation preparation wasn't going to change going into games. But this is the fourth game in a row where there's been a double digit deficit yep. in the first quarter. Yep. Is the preparation going to change? And well, I mean, is, is it the preparation or is it just turning the ball over? Like, I, I mean, I don't care what we do. I mean, I mean, we spend hours and hours of preparation, you know, going over stuff. But if you turn the ball over, you, I mean, you, you, I mean, and that's what we did. You know, our, our first three out of our first four possessions were turnovers. Like, you, you can't come out and turn the ball over, you know, and, and, and that's what we, we've been doing. And it's like, here you go. And then next thing you know, <clears throat> it kind of balloons to eight points, 12 points, I think, right? You know, and, uh, and, and then all of a sudden, you know, then finally we made some adjustments. <clears throat> And then, you know, we, we, we start to claw our way back. But, like, I mean, we, we can't give teams, you know, 12, 14, 16-point leads from the start. Like, you, you can't be scared. You can't play this game timid. You can't. you got to have confidence. And where you get your confidence is from by being in the gym. You spoke about the, your players lacking excitement, even being in a close game. Why do you think they're, they didn't have that kind of mindset? No idea. No idea. You know, I, I, it's just... Um, and, and I, I mean, the only thing I could guess is <clears throat> maybe we weren't having the type of successes, you know, in, in, in offensive. I, I don't know. But I'm looking at it. I'm like, let's go. We're right there. We're right there, you know. And um, and everybody else should have been too. But um, unfortunately, you know, then, then it got away from us. Um, 
Coach, you mentioned receipts. What specifically are you going to take away from this one going forward? Well, I mean, you, you just look at, you know, how big they are at every single position. They're bigger, they're stronger, and they're more skilled at every single pos position than us. Okay, th th that's, that's, that's the receipt and how they do things. How they do things, how they run their offense, how hard they cut, how hard they go to the boards. You know, free throw box outs, right? They're shooting free throws and they're spinning and twisting and turning and doing everything possible to go try to get offensive rebound. Like that, that, that right there puts you in the elite. And that's what we have to get to. That's where we have to get to. We, 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 we gotta be skilled. You gotta be able to pass the ball. You gotta be able to throw the ball. All right, you gotta be able to shoot the ball. We, we, gotta, be, we, gotta, we gotta be more skilled at all positions. We can't rely just on, on one person in one position. All right, it takes an entire team. Leah, too, picked up the two fouls early in that third yep. quarter. How much do you think that changed the game? Yeah, I, I think it hurt us tremendously. And they're bad fouls. They're reaches. And, and, and you, can't, you can't do that. And whether it's frustration or whatever it is, we need her in the game. She's the best scoring forward. One of the best scoring forwards in, in the ACC. And she needs to be on the floor. And she needs to have more than six points a game. Um, both teams combined tonight for 37 turnovers and uh, 35 fouls. Just walk me through coaching through such a physical, like, scrappy game. How that change your game? Probably. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't. Think, I mean, I understand both teams are thirty-seven, but I mean, the majority of where us. I mean, I'm looking at them. They have thirteen, and if I, I had thirteen turnovers, I'm like, okay, that was, that was a really good day, you know, because our goal, <clears throat> excuse me, our goal is to be fourteen or under, you know. So, but it's what they do to you. They press you, right? They run and jump you, right? You're not allowed to like execute and, and run offense, and that's where it's like. Our mentality going into this game was, great, let them overplay, all right? Throw the ball up the sideline and then go attack them. Not, 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 you can't be reserved. Like we throw the ball ahead, catch it, and then go attack. Your coach is telling you to go score the basketball. Like your, light, your eyes should light up and be like, I'm all in, you know? This is, this is one of those games, man. man I, I thought Jayla Jordan did a great job of it early on. <clears throat> I thought she did a really good job of that, you know? So, yeah, I mean, just throughout this game, when you talk about the opportunities your team had, it seems like you did have a ton of opportunities with the way Louisville struggled shooting and also just turning the ball over at least midway through that game. I mean, it must be kind of difficult like with your team just being like, well, how do we even get over this hump? They're not, we're not even going to take the opportunities they're giving us at times. Well, I mean, it's their missing shots, but so are we. I mean, that's, that's where there's got to be, you know, we, we, get, we got to knock down shots. We got to knock down shots. And <clears throat> you're holding your opponent because they're missing shots. We get back in the game because it was fouls and free throws and, you know, maybe maybe some second chance opportunities that we had. But, like, then it's like they're missing shots, then we're missing shots, they're missing shots, and so are we. Like, we got to knock down shots. We, we got to do a better job of knocking down perimeter shots. So we, we got we to figure that part out. Got to figure that part out because we, we need to. We need to have some point production coming from the perimeter. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. So, Jayla, I mean, you guys were pretty close for the first three quarters of the game. Um, fourth quarter, things seemed to go off the rail. What did you see in that fourth quarter that, uh, I guess, led to the score looking the way it does? Um, I seen, like, we were turning the ball over a lot and um, not getting back on defense. So that cost us. I um, think we could have been better on defense in the fourth quarter, um, boxing out or something, but we, we struggled. You made uh, three three pointers yourself. I mean, it seems like you're feeling it tonight. Uh, what would you say about your own performance? Um, I would say I shot well, um, but it really doesn't matter if you know we lost by like we lost. So I mean, it don't matter. But um, yeah, I can say I shot well for us. I mean, with Lee, when when Lee Two goes out of the game, in terms of what you're doing, trying to do offensively, what do you think the team needs to do a bit better to at least try to get everyone more involved, I suppose? What would you say? Like, um, Being confident. I feel like we need to be more confident as a team because we're all, we're, we're really good and we're talented. And I feel like we can show, we show that every night, little snippets, um, but we need to be more confident. Our guards, posts, we all need to be confident as a team and what we can do. I mean, these th these three games at home, you guys have been in all three games at different times. I mean, is there some sort of confidence or like 
surprised you start to see taking that, even though you guys obviously end up with losses into those games too. Honestly, we start our games off slow. Like, and then I guess we pick it up um, a few minutes into the uh, first or second quarter. So I just feel like we need to start our games off strong and build on it. And that will really help us. We could finish um, strong, hopefully, if we start off strong. What do you think is leading to the slow starts these past few games? What do you think has been? Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I wish I knew, like, but we are starting off slow, and it hasn't been helping us at all. But we come back. But, like, just we need to start off the way we, like, the best way we can. Jalen, are you most comfortable behind the arc, or are you more comfortable down on the block? It seems like you're so successful behind the arc, like 75% from three. But do you like carving out space better, or like popping out on a pick? Um, I like, I'm, I'm comfortable behind the arc. And I'm comfortable in the post, too. Um, I love shooting the ball. Uh, I also love being inside, too. So I don't know, it's kind of like, it's like 70, it's like 60, 40 behind the arc and, and inside. Anything else, guys? No, good. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks you guys so much. Thanks, Have a